So good evening all. Good evening all. So today we are going to discuss a concept called sentence correction. I repeat, today we are going to discuss a concept called sentence correction. Right. So what are the objectives of this session? By the end of the session, we are going to understand what sentence correction is. And then we are going to practice a few questions on it, as simple as that, right? First of all, as the phrase, as the title suggests, as the title says, sentence correction, you are given a sentence. You are given a sentence. Do you see a sentence on the screen? Can you all type yes in the chat box? Do you all see a sentence on my screen? My dear students, if you see a sentence that I'm reading right now, I am tired as I'm working since seven o'clock in the morning. If you see this sentence right now, go to the chat box and just type yes. Go to the chat box and just type yes. Okay, I'm waiting for your responses. And I have very few responses so far. Probably I have around uh, seven to eight responses. Is my voice clear, women? Is my voice clear? Uh, yes, sir. It's very clear. It's loud and clear. Thank you so much. Now, please understand, as the, top, as the title suggests, sentence correction, you are given a sentence. You are given a sentence, and a part of the sentence is highlighted. A part of the silence, a part of the sentence is highlighted. And then you will see beneath the sentence four alternatives. How many alternatives do, we see? do you see? How many alternatives? You see four alternatives beneath the main sentence. What do I call these four options? I call them distractors. One of them can be your answer. I repeat, one of them can be your answer. If you think no, no, the given sentence itself is perfect. If you think the given sentence itself is perfect, D is your answer. Why? Because D says you don't have to improve anything in the sentence, right? Can you look at the instruction? Can you look at the instruction? Below are given alternatives to the part in bold, which may improve the sentence. Choose the correct alternative. Now, let's correct this sentence. Now, how many of you think how many of you think you know the answer? Can you go to the chat box quickly and answer this? Can you go to the chat box and quickly answer this? Can you? Now, I know, I, know I, have, I have people answering me saying C is your answer. I have people saying no, B is your answer. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Please don't write anything on the screen. I disabled that just to take control of the class. Don't get me wrong. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain. So first, first, can you can you tell me how many of you and how many of you know what parts of speech is? Raise your hands. How many of you think you know? You can raise your hand or you can say yes. I know what parts of speech is. Right? Now, can you go to can you go to the chat box? You might be thinking I'm digressing from the question that I'm discussing. No, I'm hitting the point exactly here. I know what I'm exactly hitting on. Can you go to the chat box and type? How many parts of speech do you have? How many parts of speech do we have? You can go to the chat box and answer. How many parts of speech? Right. Okay, I, I can I can see a lot of replies saying eight, eight. I can see a lot of people. Muhammad, okay, uh, Yakub, and then uh, Peter, and then Sandia. You all are responding. You're saying eight. What are those eight? What are those eight? Okay, Hashi. What are those eight? You are saying that there are eight parts of speech. What are they? Can you type them in the chat box? Noun. Okay, noun. Anything else? Anything else? Pronoun. Very good. Okay. Someone says noun, pronoun, adverb, adjective. Okay. Can anyone type all eight at once? Can anyone? Very good. Hashi. Very good. Can anyone type all eight at once? 
and understand we are talking about sentence correction understand we are talking about sentence correction right can anyone type all eight at once and i'll connect this to sentence correction my aim is that by the end of the session you should be knowing how to practice sentence correction on your own i want to make you an autonomous learner independent learner i don't want you to depend on anyone i am waiting i am looking at the chat box is there anyone in this meeting right now who can type all eight parts of speech and put that in the chat box is there anyone who can do that fantastic we have one person who did this let me read out the person's name mohammed fantastic noun pronoun verb adverb adverb conjunction okay adjective interjection very now now if you if you ask me if you ask me sashi how do i work on sentence correction how do i work on sentence correction it's very simple go to google type common mistakes in nouns most commonly okay most commonly seen or identified errors in nouns what is the next parts of speech pronoun what are what are co some commonly seen errors in pronouns okay what are some commonly seen pronouns in verbs this is one technique i repeat this is one technique don't forget this is one technique to improve your sentence correction skills okay besides this i am going to give you a list of topics besides this i am going to give you a list of topics if you work on them you will definitely do better okay now now look at this now first tell me what is wrong with the sentence i am i'm coming back to this question i asked you if you know parts of speech to tell you a technique to to let you understand a technique what is the technique go to google type common errors in nouns common errors in pronouns common errors in adjectives common errors in okay conjunctions and that is how you can get better at sentence correction skills now i'm go i'm coming back to this question right now what do you think is wrong can you explain me what is exactly wrong with this question which tense is this sentence in i am working which tense is this can anyone quickly answer that which tense is this which tense is this i am working which tense is this i am working which tense is this yeah very good present continuous i repeat present continuous see listen to me very carefully i am teaching now i have been teaching since 7 o'clock i am talking now i have been talking since 7 o'clock i am i am using my gestures okay i'm using my gestures to explain now i have been using my gestures since 7 o'clock now can you give an example i am running right now i am running right now now can you convert this into present perfect continuous present perfect continuous i am running now can you convert this into present perfect continuous i have been running g g g g g g i have been running yeah that's your name g g g g someone who has just messaged me yeah very good chandia very good you have been always consistent chandia i really appreciate you now listen to this what is hinting you in this sentence that it has to be present perfect can anyone identify that there is something in this sentence that is giving you a clue that this has to be present perfect continuous what is that i repeat there is something in this sentence that is hinting you that it has to be present perfect continuous since since 7 o'clock right to answer this question you must clearly know tenses and their use i repeat to answer this question you must know tenses and their use so please write down somewhere it is a part of your syllabus in sentence correction tenses and their use i repeat tenses and their use if anyone knows tenses they will answer this question and also please understand please appreciate the fact that tenses this concept tenses is the heart of english grammar is the heart of english grammar is that clear is that clear now answer has to be i have been working this is past this is past 
we are not talking about past we are talking about an activity that started in the past that started in the past okay that started in the past and it is still going on and it is still going on at present that is called present perfect continuous right okay i repeat we are talking about an action that started in the past and it is still going on in present it's called present perfect continuous i am assuming that you all know tenses i am assuming that you all know the structures of tenses right right i am assuming so we cannot use past simple past I, I, I we cannot use past continuous with since we cannot use past continuous with since okay i had been working okay i had been i am tired now look at this i am tired isn't this present yes or no isn't this present isn't this present you must know tenses and their combinations i can use simple present i can use simple present with present perfect continuous this is present perfect continuous by the way people who do not know tenses find me very weird right now they think i'm speaking all greek and latin okay you must know tenses if this part if the first part is simple present the continuation must be present perfect continuous because i have since here okay therefore my answer is c okay can i go ahead can i go ahead can i go to the next question have you written that you must you must use parts of speech to google and understand most commonly okay i read most commonly uh, most commonly identified or most commonly misused i don't say misused exactly okay uh, uh, most common errors in concepts that you mentioned that you mentioned in uh, parts of speech most common errors in nouns most common errors in pronouns most common errors in adjectives that is how you must search and you should not please write down you should know tenses and their use to do better in sentence correction and what is sentence correction they give you a sentence they may highlight a part of it they give you four alternatives you must identify one of the alternatives which can improve the sentence if you think there is no improvement choose last option okay okay so look at this now we must now understand okay that now tell me what is the concept that is being tested here what is the concept that is being tested what are these put off put up put out put at what do we call them can anyone answer can anyone answer i'm sorry can anyone answer what do we call them okay for example they called off the exam why don't you Oh, okay why don't you drop in when you go by this road why don't you drop in okay or put uh, put off why why do you always put off your work why do you always we need to put out that fire yeah only one person pema if i pronounce you wrong please forgive me for that pema that they are phrasal verbs they are not prepositions thank you simon for trying thank you ali is trying to give me the answer ali if you go to oxford learners dictionary i repeat go to oxford learners dictionary and type put up at go to oxford learners dictionary and type put up at and look at the last example it says put up at is to stay is to stay in a hotel temporarily to stay in a place temporarily okay yeah do you clear that put up at when we say put up at we mean that they stay in a place temporarily in a, in a in a restaurant in a hotel in a motel right can i go ahead is that clear put up at means to stay so so please write down you should you should know some commonly used phrasal verbs how did you get by in the exam meaning how did you manage how did you get by okay how did you get by in the interview i know you had few issues with your certificates how did you get by how did you get on in the exam how did you get on in the exam 
So, you know, some phrasal verbs, if you can go to Google, type most frequently used phrasal verbs, that will do to begin with. Please trust me. Trust me, there is no end to learning phrasal verbs. So, you can just go to Google and check most frequently used phrasal verbs. That will do for now. So, answer is B. So, we should know tenses and their uses. We should know phrasal verbs. Next. Le you all understand me, don't you? You all understand my accent, don't you? You don't understand if I talk in my mother tongue, do you? Now, see, now what we are now talking is called question tags. Tell me honestly, how many of you have this habit of using the word right in conversations? You know me, right? You listen to me, right? You study well, right? How many of you have a habit of using this word right at the end? That's beautiful. I have answers. People saying, sir, you're talking about question tags. I know. So how many of you say, hey, I'm not rude, right? You're my friend, right? We use that, right? Now listen to me very carefully. That's informal language. That's informal language. Now tell me, why do we use question tags? Why do we use question tags? To put your foot down and stress your point. I am a, I'm a good man, right? I'm a good man, right? So this is one number one, to stress your point. Number two, to get confirmation. To get confirmation from someone, right? Now listen to me. Of course, that's my byword. If you listen to me almost all my classes, I keep telling you, right, right, right. I use that as a filler to get confirmation, just, you know, to just keep my conversation, to keep, to just keep my conversation going. I use the word, right, right. Now that's called question tag. Now, how do we use question tags? Listen to me. You have a pet, don't you? You don't have a pet, do you? Now tell me your observation here. You have a pet, don't you? You don't have a pet, do you? Now tell me what's your observation here. You understand my accent, don't you? You don't understand my accent, do you? Now tell me your observation. They are my friends. They are my friends, aren't they? They aren't my friends, are they? She is my wife. She's my wife, isn't she? She isn't my wife, is she? Now tell me what's your observation. Observation, tell me what's your observation. If a sentence has positive, if a sentence has positive helping verb, in question tag, it becomes negative and vice versa. I repeat, if a sentence has positive helping verb, in question tag, it becomes negative and vice versa. You all understand, right? Negative to positive, positive to negative. Now, first of all, let us understand what is being converted into question tag. What is the model being used here? Should. So what should be used in the question tag? Should itself, should itself. Therefore, my answer cannot be B. My answer cannot be C. Okay, someone is typing something for me. Let me check. Sir, in question, you used one of the word in a phrase or sentence. Example, sure. Isn't she? Yes. Yes. We should be bound by a code of conduct. Isn't it? That's wrong. Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? I repeat, shouldn't be. Now let's let's play a small game, okay? I'm going to give you a sentence. You're going to type question tag quickly. I'm going to give you a sentence. You're going to type a question tag. They they were they were present yesterday. I repeat, they were present yesterday. Now can you give me a question tag? I'll write down the sentence for you. They they were present yesterday, right? Weren't they? Now, now, now. No, 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 you cannot use Muhammad. You cannot use R. Listen, in my sentence, Muhammad, tell me what is the helping verb that I used? Yakub. what is the helping verb in my given sentence? They were, I write, okay, I am writing for you again. They were, they were present. Yesterday, Yakub, look at my sentence in the chat box. Oh, I think I, I personally typed it to someone else. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm writing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't type for a second. They were. 
Now look at look at look at the chat box, Yakub. What is my helping verb? It's were. I cannot use anything beyond the given helping verb or model. For example, can, could, may, might, shall, should. They are my models. Is that clear? Is that clear? So I'll give one sentence. Let's see. Let's take this as a challenge. If you're doing it, take my words. You are really awesome. If you can do it, because I'm going to give you something which is a little difficult, which is a little challenging. Right? Okay. Now, I am your friend. I am your friend. Now, can anyone give me the question tag for this? I am your friend. Yeah, you're awesome. A N E S H Anish. Anish, if my pronunciation is wrong, if I'm not pronouncing your name, sorry. Ainta is not grammatically correct. It's it's informal language. It's colloquial language. It's not colloquy. Okay? It's not a colloquy. Ainta, that's what I'm telling you. Ainta is not English grammar. It's just, uh, you know, American slang. It's it's not proper language. Okay. The one way of saying it is, am I not? Am I not? I am your friend. Very good, Yakub. I am your friend. Am I not? But what is the short form of am I not? What is the short form of am I not? I'm talking about grammatically accepted. Grammatically, not slang. Grammatically accepted. We say aren't I? Aren't I? This is the only case in English language where we see R and I together. A. Eh? Aren't I? Okay. Okay, this is the only case. How many of you are surprised? Tell me honestly, how many of you are surprised? Don't tell me you're shocked, but how many of you are surprised? Sir, I never heard someone say, aren't I? But yes, this is the only case in question tags. Okay, in the entire English grammar, this is the only place where we see I and R together. For example, aren't I? I'm a good man, aren't I? I, 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 I am and I'm your teacher, aren't I? Okay, can I go ahead? So you should know question tags. Mine is, aren't you? I am wrong. Okay, Reno, I didn't understand. Aren't you? I'm wrong. I, Reno, I didn't understand your point. Okay, can anyone answer this? Now, this concept is called, please write down, this concept is called subject-verb agreement. You might get questions from subject-verb agreement. Now, when I say I am, tell me honestly, how many of you watched my subject-verb agreement video? Be very honest. I think I was in the class. I took a class, right? Vimal, sir, I took a class on subject-verb agreement last time, right? Okay, tell me how many of you, how many of you remember, how many of you watched my YouTube video? Of course, that was a live session. It was later put on the cloud right it is there on youtube sumit it is there it's already there yes simon very good now tell me when i say i am i are which one is grammatically correct i am i are i is agreeing with am or is i agrees with am or is i am i is which one okay now tell me mr peter has peter have Peter agrees with have or has. Peter agrees. It's called subject verb agreement. If you watch the video, you will get very, very clear understanding. Okay. Now, now tell me very clearly. What's the answer? Look at the question. Look at the question. Look at the question on the screen. Okay. Look at the question on the screen. What's the answer? Now, listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully. This is a very confusing question. I repeat, this is a very, very confusing question. I'll tell you why. Now tell me, are we talking about, are we talking about variety? Are we talking about variety or are we talking about seeds? What is a primary subject? Can you? Okay, let's let's play a game to to bring you out of this confusion. Let let's play a game. Now tell me, tell me, a college of boys is this part singular or plural? A college of boys, a college of boys, is this singular or plural? A college of boys. 
very good the paint of these buildings is this singular or plural the paint of these buildings singular or plural okay now i am asking you this a, a bunch of flowers are on the table or is on the table listen to me very carefully a bunch of flowers are on the table or is on the table no this is where you are going wrong samir listen to me samir we are talking about a bunch we are talking about a bunch a bunch we are not talking about multiple bunches bunches of flowers no a bunch of flowers so a college of boys is a college of boys is okay fighting a college of boys is running is participating in this exam okay a fleet of ships is captured in a photograph a bunch of flowers is a box of chocolates is in the refrigerator i don't say a box of chocolates are is that understood now now tell me variety variety of seeds variety of seeds is this singular or plural i highlight this part variety of seeds is this singular or plural no understand we are talking about a variety our subject is variety therefore it is singular it is singular when i said the knowledge of students tell me when i said the knowledge of students is that singular or plural when i said the knowledge of students is that singular or plural singular the same way, the variety of seeds the variety of seeds is that singular or plural singular right therefore therefore this is perfectly in sync this is perfectly in agreement with variety variety is a subject of course is that clear is that clear how many of you think i should repeat if you think i should repeat type down repeat if you think i should repeat type repeat in the chat box no variety of seeds listen to me listen to me if if it's only seeds that is plural if you are talking about variety variety understand that is singular and my stress my focus is to talk about variety not seeds there therefore okay i am repeating f a f a r m a pharma listen to me very carefully okay pharma f a r m a pharma i'm sorry if my pronunciation is wrong please forgive me for that okay i i explained that one last time i people who could not understand please go to my subject verb agreement youtube video okay did you how are you all are you all uh, aware that we have a youtube channel by geetam where we post all insight videos you are all, you all are aware of that right yes or no so go watch the video there there you can definitely see my subject verb agreement video there the concept is very clearly explained very very clearly okay now that i have only 15 minutes i will explain this concept and then i will leave it to you you should ask me all these questions are from your exam right i am discussing the mock that you took so you tell me explain this question explain that question but why are we only looking at variety alone yeah someone is asking me why are we looking at variety alone because that is the subject that is the subject let me explain let me explain because you are talking about it someone asked me sir why are we looking at only variety alone because that is the subject subject is who or what we talk about subject is who or what we talk about we are talking about variety see variety is what variety is what we seek in life agree with this sentence variety is what we seek in life do you agree with this sentence yes you agree with this sir variety brings variety brings beauty to life agree with this agree with this so listen to this Ma uh, marita listen to this whatever you see after off should not be considered as your main subject that is grammar rule you should not be consider you should not be considering this as your main subjects your main subject is variety i'll give you more examples okay a bunch of flowers is sold to them very good samir this samir has given an example a bunch of flowers is sold to them a bunch of flowers is sold by him every morning okay now listen to me uh, uh, the knowledge of the students is appreciated the knowledge of the students is appreciated the knowledge of the students is appreciated i'll tell you a simple technique when you see something after off do not consider it as your main subject why that's a grammar rule because we have certain bodies across the world 
who build standard rules which are accepted and followed across the world across the communities is that clear pema do you understand that yeah good fantastic so so any questions now marita marita please watch my video you will definitely understand subject verb agreement okay now i'll ask one question to marita and then we leave okay i'll ask one question to marita and then we leave okay the question is this um okay the beauty okay fine um the okay the paint the paint of these buildings the paint of these buildings is is beautiful or are beautiful the paint of the these buildings is beautiful or are beautiful please listen to me what is my subject samir whatever you see after of should not be considered okay I, can you all stop typing look at the chat box looking at the chat box the paint of these buildings is beautiful okay this is first sentence now please look at do, don't type anything in the chat box for just a minute okay just for just a minute then you can type again do you all look at the sentence i am typing one more look at the paint of this building now do you see these two sentences simon simon marita do you see these two sentences marita marita when you look at these two sentences look at it whatever you see after of should not be considered whatever you see the paint of these buildings since i am talking about only paint that is is when i say the paints the paints of this building the paints of this building since i am talking about paints i use are okay very good now now i have last 10 minutes before i close last 15 minutes i want one by one to tell me sir i did not understand 14th question i am very sure you all know that there are 20 questions how many of you took your mock test can you say yes i did can anyone say yes i did how many of you took your mock test yes i did yes i did yes i did now can you tell me sir i am not sure about this question can you explain that sir i am not sure about this concept can you explain that is there anyone collins hi collins wave your hand if you see me collins wave your hand fantastic did you take the exam give me a thumbs up if yes did you take the test did you take the test if no uh, you know uh, show me this sign if yes yes sign okay thank you so much thank you so much okay now now tell me now tell me which question should i explain there are 20 questions Tell me which question should I explain? There are twenty questions. Give me a question number. Okay, since no one is approaching, I am teaching one question. Now, now let's practice. Let's play this game. I enjoyed. Can you quickly type once? I enjoyed. Can anyone type? I enjoyed. Quickly look at the chat box. Okay, Marita, I am going to explain fifteenth and sixteenth. Fifteenth, yeah, my time. Okay, okay. Now listen to me. I enjoyed is grammatically wrong. Never say that. Say I enjoyed myself. Okay, Collins, do you hear me? Say I enjoyed myself. Now, 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 tell me. She enjoyed. Can you complete my lines? She enjoyed. Can you type? She enjoyed. Can you complete my lines? She enjoyed herself. Samir, fantastic. She enjoyed herself. Collins, can you type? They enjoyed. They enjoyed. They enjoyed themselves. So never ever in your life say I enjoyed. Say I enjoyed myself. She enjoyed herself. Okay. Vimal sir enjoyed himself. Collins enjoyed himself. They both enjoyed themselves. Now what am I trying to tell you? I am trying to hint you that the answer is. Look at the screen. The answer is. What's your answer? 
What's your answer? C. So if you know this grammar rule, if you know this grammar rule, this is a very commonly seen question in exams. This is a very commonly seen question. Okay, now someone is asking 16th question. Are you clear? Can I move on to the next one? Can I move on to the next one? Now, please understand. Now, please understand. If you ask me why is not A my answer, because there is no, there is no we enjoyed ourselves. If there is no such thing, it's grammatically wrong. We had a grand party and enjoyed very much. No, that's gr grammatically incorrect. See, when you're talking to your friend, any rule works. There are no rules when you communicate in English with your friends, right? But, but when you see questions in the competitive exam, like in SAT, SAT, you must understand the fact that we have to strictly follow rules, right? Now, can I move on? Okay, someone is asking for 16th question. Okay, now look at this. Look at this. An overdose of any medicine is enough fatal to a plant as to a man. Now, now look at this. First of all, first of all, it is fatal enough. Now understand that uh, a no implement option may not be given every time in every exam. Inset has been introduced recently, right? Inset has been introduced recently. No implement is there in actual SAT. Actual SAT. You take SAT exam to go abroad to study in the US, right? But, but Inset has been launched recently. There is something called sentence improvement. So in the last option, sometimes they clearly mention it. Don't worry. They clearly mentioned in the instructions that if you think there is no error, you must mention no improvement. Okay, now look at this. So he is, he, okay, it is fatal enough, fatal enough, dangerous enough, beautiful enough. That's how we must use the word enough. He is senior enough, he is talented enough to handle these issues. So you must, you first put adjective here, okay, and then you put this, put this enough here, usually usually grammatically speaking he is smart enough to handle this issue okay he he is he is matured enough to understand these problems hey he is muscular enough to hit you okay he is corrupt enough he is corrupt enough to commit any crime so that's how we use the word enough that is where i know that something is wrong with this part this phrase next they are using the word as we use as twice to compare okay for example he is as fast as a cheetah she is as fair as a rose okay it's as red as blood it is as heavy as as heavy as dictionary as bottom as rock as light as a feather okay as handsome as collins collins do you agree with me as as handsome as collins or, or as clear as sashi my name is sashi if you think I'm clear, as clear as Sashi, right? Therefore, answer has to be as fatal as, meaning fatal means something that can take away your life, dangerous. So as, as, as go together. Yes, yes, very good. Now me, as, yes. Uh, sir, are you trying to tell me something? Vimal, sir? I saw your hand wave. Are you trying to tell me something, Vimal, sir? No? No, 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 no. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, fine. This orange is as big as an apple. Fantastic example. Very good. There's no network because of rainfall. I'm really sorry for that, Fatima. Hopefully, you will you will get to see the recording of this class. Okay. Any other question? Can you tell me the number? We have we have uh, we have five more minutes. Can you ask me any other question? Can you drop in drop in type in the chat box any question that you did not understand? Any question? Okay, question number 13. Okay, he pleased the director and this completed his report in good time. By the way, tell me, tell me one thing. Do you have breakfast and then brush your teeth or you brush your teeth and then have your breakfast? What do you do? Do you, do you 
first brush your teeth and then have breakfast or or you have breakfast and then don't tell me i don't mind doing anything what is the usual pattern i am asking you what is the usual pattern you brush your teeth and then you have breakfast right now keep that keep the same logic in your mind look at the question look at the question don't you think something is wrong with the sequence of events don't you think something is wrong with the sequence of events your boss is pleased and then you do your work or you do your work and then your boss is pleased what do you think you do your work and then your boss is pleased so which is clearly in a wrong order which is clearly in the wrong order in the given question okay so i look at the first question he pleased the directors in good time and this completed no no the the sequence is wrong so when what are what are we learning in this sentence from this question that sometimes they can give you a wrong sequence you have to identify the right sequence and identify your answer in sentence correction look at the next one he completed his report in good time and this pleased the boss this is a possible contender this can be my answer unless i read remember unless i read all the options i never decide what my answer is i repeat this is a pro tip unless i read unless i read all the options i do not confirm i do not okay come to a conclusion that this is my answer he please the directors and no this is not the order no implement obviously this is not because we need an implement okay hello sir we are having network problem because of rainfall i am really really sorry for that fatima you might access the recording any other question any other question okay is there anyone who would like to interact with me vimal sir we are doing that as a practice vimal sir are we doing that as a practice is there anyone yeah, who someone if someone wants yeah. is there anyone who would like to talk to me about the uh, questions please understand uh, about yeah, the questions yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, we can personally talk a lot through whatsapp or or phone call but here i would like to interact i would like to discuss the questions any question do you have on your mind please help us with a hard copy okay i have already sent vimal sir has sent the document to you all right to practice uh, this yeah, yeah. They, they all they all are getting the uh, document sir yeah is there anyone to download them and is them. there anyone who would like to interact with me right now talk to me right now you can peter would you like to yes peter so please give permission uh, to peter so she has to raise her hand or she did in the chat box peter so right anyone she has to raise her hand so please she directly did that to me in the chat box uh, no 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 so she has to do it like she has to properly do it like okay someone has did it so i can't see sir There are there are a few people raising their hands right now. One is one is Miss I uh, Lum L L H A Mrs name L H A. No, I I think they are just sending you the hand symbol, sir. They have to raise hand from the. I think okay. they know how to do it. Okay. If whoever is if there is anyone who interested to talk to me, please raise their hand. Okay. okay i can see a few hands right now raising their hands so 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 please give me a second because yeah i can see them now so yeah. cool uh, i was uh, one guy to am cool yak lam lam i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing your name name wrong yam lam you can you can talk hello Hello, yeah, hi. Go ahead. Yes, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. You know, I have problem with sending you message. Okay, you're sending me messages. When when I'm trying to send to you, and then it goes to admission office. Now uh -huh. I don't know how can I do. Yeah. Okay. See, uh, how do you, how do I sound your name? Uh, call Yash. Okay, I'll call you Yash. Call. Yash, right? Yes, Yash. Okay, Yash. Yeah. Well, if yes. if you have any administration related issue, you have to approach. Okay, you have to approach Vimal sir. 
Okay. So here, don't worry about it. Your, your query has been recorded. Whatever you said that has been taken by the team. Okay. Don't worry about that. Okay. But here, right now, I would like to discuss the questions that I'm showing you today. Did you take the test? Yes, already. Or did you take the test? Yes, I already did it before. Very good. Do you have any questions? Would you like to discuss any question with me? Yeah, but I have a question on this number 13, but you explained it very well. That is why I'm certified now. Okay. Okay. Great, great, great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank so you. So I'm next is uh, Mahad, Mahad Omar. So, Mahad, are you still with us? Okay. We have. Uh, Jibril, Jibril is also trying to raise a hand. Jibril, are you there? Yeah, Jibril, Jibril can also spread. I think Mahad started. Okay. Jibril, you can also try to unmute and speak. You can try to unmute and speak, Jibril. But just speak. ask subject-related questions. Hello, Jibril. How are you? Yeah. Fine, sir. Very good. So, did you take the exam? Yes, sir. Very good. Do you have any questions, dear? Yes, I have tried to upload my uh, O-level certificate. Okay. So... Like, I, I have mistaken to upload it as A-level certificate. So, I was trying to, let's say, switch it to O-level and it's not working. Uh, Jibril, you have my number. So, message me. Message me on WhatsApp because... Uh, right now, you can ask the teacher only subject-related questions. So next uh, is Mahad Omar. So I'm asking him also to unmute. So I think he, he has a network issue, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then. So I have, someone says, okay, he has a question. Okay. Nigeria, Aloxi. Aloxi, okay. Aloxi, I'm on, okay. Uh, okay, he can he can he can unmute. Aloxi. Yeah. Aloxi, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can unmute and try. You can try to unmute and talk to me now. Aloxi. Try to unmute. Press on the unmute symbol. Are you trying to? Yeah. Okay. Can you talk to me right now? Do you have any yes. questions? Do you, I, yes, I can I hear you. Do you hear me? Yes, I can hear I you. Have no I have no wish. Okay, fantastic. So I do you have, have no wish. Do you have, have any? Have... Yes. Om Omar, I can't hear you now. Can you unmute and talk again? Unmute and talk, and I don't hear you. Uh, if you want no, to talk, you, I can hear yeah. you, sir. Okay. I am uh, I am Omar from Nigeria. Hi, hi, hi. Good to see you. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, the reading materials uh, because I've joined you for the fourth week. Uh, okay. I've lost the first week lectures and the reading materials. Okay. Uh, the second week also and the third week. And I have uh, went to your YouTube channel. I have uh, I have seen all the lectures there. Okay. But what remains mysterious now is the how can I get the PDF for the first, second, and third week? That is okay. the material that you used to share. So Vimal sir is going to share all the material with you. Whatever material we have sh shared so far, he will share that with you. Okay. Actually, you can also find it in the description of the videos itself. Just click show more and then you will uh, find all the reading materials in the description of the video. Uh, so all the materials are there. For week one, you will find week one materials in the description section of the video itself. So okay, uh, Alcoxy, you should just check it. It's all there. Uh, anyhow, okay, still, I will again one more time to all the students uh, send the links. Uh, broadcast okay. link so that you can download uh, and keep them. Thank you, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would like to call a day here.
but before that before i call a day i would like to give you a beautiful resource to practice to practice grammar and reading comprehension the first resource that i would like to share with you is a road to grammar i repeat road to grammar if you google this you will see a website where you can practice all the grammar you can download all the pdf materials for free okay it will not charge you it will not ask you for any money a road to grammar okay the second resource that i want to share with you is readtheory.org it's a reading comprehension it's a reading comprehension website it's beautifully designed the software is amazing it it teaches you reading comprehension okay so readtheory.org vimal sir please share these resources with them i have already shared the website links with you sir oh uh, they were already i have already shared them sir the one okay, you sir. gave me okay, the one okay sir okay sir so we have suryam sir here online suryam sir do you hear me yes yes copy yeah thank you thank you suryam sir thank yeah. you suryam sir uh, thank you vimal sir over to you thank you yeah thank you sir thank you so much so 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 i believe that all of you might have gone through the video on ratios so you, you might have got just how do we try to what what exactly ratio is and how what is the need of calculating ratios so you, you might have got a clear picture from there okay yeah yeah we are starting it now so uh, let's take it in this way we'll start first with the definition of ratios and then we will start jumping into the questions which we have come across in the mock test so you know when we were discussing about percentages we were discussing about percentages we understood this part that percentages is just an operator as the other operators are provided we use percentages to compare things but when we compare we compare percentages between two quantities but what if i have told you in the previous class of mine what if we have got two or more than two quantities if we have got two or more quantities how do we compare them we compare in terms of ratio we compare them in terms of ratio let's suppose if i have got my age vimal's age and sasheesh's age to be compared we have got two or more quantities to be compared but still it's possible to compare in terms of certain operator as percentage is we have terms here like ratio we compare in terms of ratio okay i will go a little slow to understand what exactly ratio b is all about i i told you that we are comparing two or more quantities let us take three quantities here i'm having suryam sir's age that is my age i'm having shashi sir's age that is his age and vimal sir's age here. so let's suppose we have our age in the ratio of 20 i have i mine is 20 shashi sir is 30 uh, vimal we will put it little older to you don't mind for this so we we have put vimal sir's age as 40 so in that given case if i say that our ages are in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 our ages my age to that of sashi sir's age to that of vimal sir's age is in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4 now if i want to say what is the ratio of sashi sir's and vimal sir's age we can straight away say it's 3 is to 4. If I say about my age to that of Suryam sir's age to that of Sashi's age, we can say 2 is to 3. This is how the ratio is compared. I mean, ratio is calculated. Now, this 3 is to 4 can be written in a fraction. If I write Sashi over Vimal, then I write it in this way, 3 by 4. The ratio 3 is to 4 can be written as 3 by 4 or else we can write it as 3x is to 4x x being a constant which is multiplied to both the terms to both the terms you can write this ratio also in this way 2x 3x 4x x being multiplied to all the terms you cannot multiply only to one of the terms if you multiply one variable, one constant to one of the term, you need to multiply the same constant to other terms as well. 
is, is that reachable to all of you? Is that clear, everyone? Everyone, yes, yes, yes. Now, yes, Robert has a question. Is it possible to compare quantities which are of not same kind? No, Robert, we cannot compare them. We cannot compare them. Now, it, it would not be it would not be perfect enough if I compared my teaching skills, my teaching skills with my wife's teaching skills, because she is good at, she, I mean, I cannot say that I compare my teaching skills with my wife's cooking skills. No, that's not possible. That's not possible because her cooking skills might be at a different level. My teaching skills might be a different level. We can compare only the teaching skills with the teaching skills. The age with the age, the height with the height. Got it, got it, okay? Yes. Now see, we, we all know this. We all know this, that we have ratio to use for comparison. Okay, now let's see with the questions. Let's see with the question. I will straight away jump this time to the question so that we can cover maximum questions if possible. I know many of them have failed to answering a, a little tougher ones, but don't worry, we have a very easy way to solve that as well. Okay, don't make it an extra learning. Don't make it an extra learning. We have got a very simple learning. Here they say that a ratio one is to three, one is to three. You all know one is to three can be written as one by three, which is equals to five by x. That's it. This is how. This is how we write the ratio as. The antecedent, the antecedent goes in the numerator. This is what the antecedent in the ratio is told about. Is called as antecedent. And this is consequent. I do not want you to pull you into the more technical terms of mathematics, but let us make it very simple. The first term goes in the numerator, the second term goes in the denominator. Naomi, good job. Good job. Okay. Okay. I don't know there is a person because they're French speaking, sir. Okay, fine. Okay, I will try to be a little slow. I will try to be a little slow. So I say that one is to three can be written as one by three. Can you confirm this? Is that space okay for you? Better. I, I am sorry, I cannot pronounce your name, but yes. Can you confirm? Is this space okay? One is to three can be written as one by three. Very good. Very good. Five by five is to x can be written as five by x. We just need to solve x. We need to solve x. So how do we solve? This x gets multiplied here, x here, then it becomes 15. And we have value of x, <laughs> 15, option D. Clear? Clear? Yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. We cross multiply and we get our answer. Very good, Robert. Good. Yes. All the doubts can be explained at the end. Don't worry, don't worry. We will come back and explain it. Yes. We have got one word now. Now, what is it saying? A is to B is seven is to five. B is to C is nine is to 11. Now, they do need the ratio, all three to be compared together. When we see this ratio, we see only two of them being compared. When we see this ratio, we see only two of them to be compared. Am I not louder now? Am I louder? Yes. Now they want me to compare all three, A, B, and C. They want me to compare A, B, and C. So how do I write? I write it in this way. If you have gone through the video, you might have gone through with this also. I write A is to B as seven is to five. Below to B, I have a ratio called 9 is to 11, which is compared with C. Below to B, I'm writing another ratio, 9 is to 11, because we got it compared with C. Now, either you fill this one, either you fill this one, or else you fill this one. Anything is okay. Okay? Now, you all, let us take, we will fill this one. We will take, we will try to fill this one. Now I read this. What is this? You all know what is this? Yes, yes, Sandhya. That's that's right. Chetri, you're right. 
we bring it here if you have got five parts robert karma naomi very good that's that's nothing but the cow the cow rule comes into action five parts is seven so nine parts is how much can anyone say will it be more than seven or less than seven five parts is seven nine parts will be more than seven or less than seven can you all answer now mohammed very good parma good job it is definitely more than seven if you have more than seven the ratio becomes the fraction becomes what yes 9 by 5 into 7 yes 9 by 5 into 7 finally you get here answer as 63 upon 5 agree so let us write the ratio in this way 63 by 5 is to 9 is to 11 but have they given us the ratio in fractions no they have given the ratio in integral values so what i do i convert this ratio into integral by multiplying it with pi very good chetri very good very good so i finally get 63 is to 45 is to 55 i will not erase the explanation because if you have any doubt to ask we will come back to this don't worry i repeat the explanation i have just jotted out what is given to me 7 is to 5 below to 5 i see that b is to 7 is 9 is to 11 i write 9 is to 11 either you fill this one or you fill this one still the answer will be same if you want to check i will fill this one now 9 parts makes you 11 5 parts makes you how much more than 11 or less than 11 again cow again cow will it be more than 11 or less than 11 9 parts makes you 11 5 parts makes you how much less than 11 less than 11 yes so we get our fraction as 5 by 9 the lesser value in this 5 by 9 into 11 there are people who might not have attended the cow rule the chain rule explanation please go through the video that's the second or third video i i believe do try to catch it up you will get to know the chain rule and that's the most important one yes finally i get this expression so your ratio stands to this way 7 is to 5 is to this becomes 55 by 9 now i cannot write this way i multiply the whole ratio with 9 and what i get what i get is 639763 is to 9545 is to this and this gets reduces thus becomes 55 yes we have got our answer as 63 is to 45 is to 55 clear everyone clear clear yes is that clear you can just look into it you can look into it yes thank you thank you very much thank you very much fine clear clear a uh, good luck sai so singh we will just come back again into this don't worry don't worry beta don't worry we'll come back we'll come back okay now there are few who missed it out there are few who missed this question also Uh, the duplicate ratio of 3 is to 4 they are asking it's nothing when they talk about duplicate they are talking about power of 2 duplicate is nothing but 3 square is to 4 square that's it power of 2 power of 2 3 square is to 4 square that becomes 9 is to 16 okay everyone clear clear duplicate means power of 2 can you all say me what will be the triplicate ratio for this triplicate ratio for this if i ask you yes chetri that's right yes renu can you just try for the triplicate ratio triplicate triplicate 
that will be power of 3 renu rai yes it will be power of 3 you getting it yes samir good job samir good job yes then it will be power of 3 chana good good okay quadruple of the quadruple ratio quadruple ratio yes it's power of 4 quadruple means power of 4 okay power of 4 very good there is another term called subduplicate there is a term called subduplicate okay they give you in this way subduplicate root root of 3 square root of 3 and square root of 4 okay square root of 3 is to square root of 4 not half of the ratio it's subduplicate so it's square root square root subduplicate subduplicate is square root okay subduplicate subduplicate cube root cube root noted noted everyone noted this yeah forma is this clear clear forma clear okay okay square root cube root yes very good very good forma i didn't jump i didn't jump you see i am explaining this one okay if you have any doubt we'll come back don't worry we'll come back okay okay so make sure you do not miss what is duplicate triplicate sub duplicate and sub triplicate and now into the word problems now into the word problems let us see how the question is what the question is sachin is younger than rahul by 8 years okay okay Can can you all say me if I am saying that Sachin is younger? Younger means who is having less age? Whose age is less? No, no, I don't bother. I don't bother about this. I am least bothered. I don't want that. My question is who is lesser age? Lesser in age is Sachin or Rahul? Yes, younger in age. Sachin is younger. Okay, now. If I say Rahul minus Sachin, how much it will be? Rahul minus Sachin will be how much? Rahul minus Sachin will be how much? I placed Indian names because you will find questions on Indian names. Yes, it is age. It is age. Very good. They say it is age. If their ages are in the ratio of Rahul to that of Sachin or Sachin to that of Rahul is given to us. Sachin to that Rahul is seven is to nine. Okay, seven is to nine. They have given it. Okay. Now they also know the difference between this is how many parts? Two parts. The difference between this is two parts. Boys and girls. The difference between Sachin's and Rahul's age is two parts, which is nothing but how much? Which is nothing but how much? Eight, because we know this. we know this okay two parts is age how old is sachin so seven parts is equals to how much what is this what is this how yes your chain rule comes into account your cow comes here wherever you go your cow follows you your cow follows you don't worry it's there with you all the time it's there with you all the time to help out in any question you come up with okay see i repeat i identified i identify a lot see it's not all the time cross multiplication not all the time cross multiplication that's why you you might have missed the chain rule explanation you need to go there you, you need to check it what chain rule is majorly it will be cross multiplication but second times you will find cow as the rule i mean the chain rule sometimes you will get the other way as well the inverse proportion we can call it as in mathematical terms we call it as inverse proportion okay i see here two parts is eight 
So seven parts is how much? Maybe the cross multiplication can help you out here, but not all the time. So what's it? It is definitely more than eight, more than eight. That means seven by two into eight, you get four, that is 28. Yes, Aloxy. Yes, very good, you're right. Anal, Sibanda, good job. Chetri, good job. Sandhya, good. Samir, are you getting it? Samir, getting it? Yes, yes. You all can better, you can all can take a, take a screenshot also. Take a screenshot of the explanation that can help you out in later part. Okay, yes. Why we have taken seven in, instead of nine? Because they are talking about Sachin's age. Gerald, they're talking about Sachin's age and we know that Sachin is seven parts. If they would have asked Rahul's age, we would have counted nine. Clear now, Gerald, clear? Yeah, Peter, Peter, you want this to be explained again? Yes, Naomi, good job. Thank you very much, Naomi, for your compliment. I take it as compliment. I repeat this explanation once more because this is an important one. Yes, why did we take two parts? Now, I, I know that Sachin is younger than Rahul. That means Rahul minus Sachin gives you eight years. And they say that Sachin to that of Rahul is seven is to nine. They say they have given it from this. Respective. Respective means first is Sachin, then is Rahul. Okay. So Sachin has seven parts, Rahul has nine parts. Imagine this way, okay? The difference between them is how much? Two parts. The difference between them is how much? Two parts. Now two parts, difference is already given in this form, is nothing but eight years. Two parts is nothing but eight years. Now what are they asking? Sachin's age they are asking. Seven parts they are asking. Sachin is seven parts, is how much? It will be definitely more than eight. So I, my fraction becomes more means, which is the more value in this? Seven is the more value, I keep it in the numerator, the rest goes in the denominator, multiplied with eight. So you get 28. Got it now, got it now. What if I ask you what is Sachin's plus Rahul's age? Sachin and Rahul age. So two parts is equals to eight. Now you will do what? How many parts? You will take 16 parts because they're asking together age. Is how much? Okay, is how much? If I ask Sachin plus Rahul. If I ask Sachin plus Rahul. Boys and girls, cleared? Yeah, super clear. Thank you very much. Peter, thank you very much. Yes, good. We have the next one. Keep solving, keep solving. Try, I will give you a minute time. A minute time, solve it, solve it. Let's see, Solomon. Yeah, Sandia supports to your answer. Get you? Yeah, Sandia supports to your answer. Oh, we will check, we will check, we will check. The ratio of number of ladies to gents, ladies to gents at a party was one is to two. Okay, this is what is given to us. When two ladies and two gents left, the ratio becomes one is to three. How many people were at the party originally? Okay, okay, okay. Now, ladies to the gents, I can write it in this way, L by G, one X by two X. I told you, if you multiply something in this, you multiply the same thing, okay? Now, I remove two from here. I remove two from here. 
I remove two from above. I remove two from below. That is what they have told us. Two ladies and two gents left. Okay, gents and gentlemen. Okay. Now the ratio becomes one is to three. You know, I didn't do anything. I just plotted out an expression to what is given to us. I plotted out the expression to what is given to us. And you finally get your answer. This is nothing but a cross multiplication. If you do, that's cow again. If you multiply here, 3x minus 6 is equal to 2x minus 2. You get x equals to 4. Okay. Oh, fun, wonderful. I repeat. I repeat. They have given me the ratio of ladies to that of gentlemen. This is what they have given. One is to two. They have given me, Emmanuel, just see, I'm explaining it again. They have given me the ratio of one is to two. That does mean that initially there were three parts. Initially, there were three parts, okay? There were three parts. Now, in which one of them, one part is from ladies, two parts were from gentlemen. Now, what I have done, I, I can, I know that this ratio is written as 1x by 2x. Agreed? This ratio can be written as 1x, 1x, by 2x. Yes, you can write these, this ratio as 1x by 2x. Noor, you're getting it, Abdullah. Getting it? Then, then they say that remove two. Remove two. Okay, they're removing two from the ladies section, not from the gen section. And they remove two from the gen section also. Okay, they have removed two from each of them. Finally, the ratio becomes 1 is to 3. This is for ladies, this is for gents. Noor, you're catching it? You're catching it now? Yes. Okay. Now what I do, what I do, I try to solve this equation. I'm sorry. Yes. I try to solve this equation. Now, this is multiplied here. This is multiplied here. So, you get 3x minus 6 equal to 2x minus 2. Okay? So, this goes over here and this goes over here. So, you get 3x minus 2x minus 2 plus 6. You get x equals to negative 4. No, sorry, positive 4. Okay? You get x equals to 4. x means nothing but 1x. They're talking about 1x. So 1x is nothing but one part. If one part is 4, yes, like term put together. One part is 4. Yes. We collect like terms, yes, yeah, simple terms. Yes, you're right. So three parts is equals to how much? What is this again? Chain rule. The cow. Okay. If one part is four, we we like terms. Yes, we like terms. That, that's called three parts will be nothing but twelve. Very good. Twelve. Good. Three parts, more than three, more than four. Chetri, more than four. One part is four. Three parts will be more than four. Getting it? Okay. The answer is 12. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Chalo. You, you better take a screenshot of this. We can come back to this. You take a screenshot of this. If you have any doubts, you can just go to your mock test and just start quoting on it. Uh, this is something which, which might be new for you. We'll come back to this question again. Or else I will do one thing. I will explain this. I will explain this. This is a question from partnership, which is a 14th one in your mock test. I don't know if it is in that order or not. Yes, Samir. Was it easy one? Was it an easy one? 
Okay, fine. Let's see. Now they say that A and B started. Yes, let's see, Samir. A and B started investing in 40,000. I will make it tough. Don't worry. I will make it tough now. So they say that A, I, I will come to that. Don't worry. They say that A is investing 40,000. B invested 50,000. For how many terms? For how? For what term? They have invested for a year. They earned a profit of twenty-seven thousand. What is the profit share of B? Yes. So you see that the profit will be shared equally between them. Am I right in this or not? Is it right to share profit equally, equally between them? Don't focus on the question. Don't focus on the question. My question is, can I share the profit equally? Yes or no? No. Why? Why? Because we have investment different. Investment different. That's that's why we do not do. Okay. Okay. Now, how much the profit will be distributed? In what ratio? We are comparing it. We are comparing it. In four is to five ratio. In four is to five ratio. Okay. Yes. Yes, you're right. So total how many parts? The profit will be distributed, divided into nine parts. The profit will be divided into nine parts, which is nothing but equal to how much? 27,000, which is nothing but 27,000. Yes, yes, Robert, you're right. But they're asking the profit share of whom? B. How many parts? Five parts. What is this again? Don't worry, Robert, don't worry. Yes. Yes, the cow again. Sandia, wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, the cow again. Now see, I, I change my question again. I change my question now. I change the question. Uh, we will match it in this way. A and B started in business investing 40,000. A invested for eight months. Boys and girls, A invested for eight months and B for 12 months. Okay. A invested for eight months, B for 12 months. They received a profit of 27,000. Okay. They received a profit of 27,000. Or we will make it in this way 23,000. Okay. 23,000. They received a profit of 23,000. Very good, Samir. Very good. Good job. Now find the share of B. Yes. Very good, Samir. Good, good. You're right in the right zone. Jafar, is it going fast? I will reduce it. Don't worry. Jafar, we will reduce the pace. We have a lot of questions to cover. Don't worry. Try taking the screenshot of the explanation. Screenshot of the explanation so that you can revise yourself. Yeah. Sandia, did you work on this? Is the, the new one which I've given to you? Are you able to? You have Robert, John. John, can you? Naomi, you're working on it. Peter, Peter, Karma, everyone. Yes, you're all working on it. Yes. Okay, B will have more share than a B, uh, okay, than A because B will be investing for longer time. Yes, but now in what ratio they will be distributed, that's important. In what ratio they will be distributed? I say that A invested only for eight months. A invested only for eight months, not more than eight. But B invested for 12 months. B invested for 12 months. Okay. 
the question is if the profit earned is 23000 what is the profit shared yes very good now again i do it this way a invested 40000 b invested 50000 okay but a has invested for 8 months i multiply the investment with time i multiply investment what time you can question me sir why did you multiply with time because i'm multiplying it with time to calculate the profit more the investment more the profit more the time more the profit you understand the the proportion you understand the variation in direct variation if if the investment is increasing the profit is increasing similarly if the time is increasing the profit is increasing samir good job good job okay okay yeah yes now this guy has invested for 12 months but we don't know how much we have every day no we we don't know yes we do know the profit profit is given this much you're talking about profit yes the profit is given 23000 okay and the profit will be standard it is increasing every day standardly standardly don't don't take it don't fluctuate the time i mean don't fluctuate the investment Where, did, where do you get the time frame? They give the time frame. They give the time frame after a year. After a year. That means B has invested for 12 months. If they say after two years, that means somehow A has stopped investing. A has stopped investing. If they say 12, two years, then we do 24 years. We do 24 years. Getting it? Getting it, clearance? Clearance. Getting it? Yeah, the person I don't know. Josie. Yes, yes. If they say one year, you multiply it with 12. If they say two years, you multiply it with 24. Okay? Now let us calculate for one year only. Let us calculate for one year. Yes. Fine. We'll calculate for one year. This becomes how much? 30 to 3 lakh, 30 20,000. And this becomes 6 lakhs. Okay. Then if I reduce four zeros, that becomes 32 is 60. So we have four eights and four fifteens. Okay. We have four eights and four fifteens. So the ratio of A is to B to the profit is 8 is to 15. What is the profit? 23 parts. 23 parts is nothing but 23,000. If they ask B share, B share is nothing but 15 parts. Yes. A will get 8,000. B will get 15,000. John, very good. It brings up to 15,000 only, John. Very good, Robert. Good, Peter. Yes. A will get 8,000 out of 23,000. Great, great. Very good. Good, Alexi, good. Good. I've cleared the explanation. I've given the explanation very clearly. Okay, take a screenshot. I'm going to the next one. Over to you guys. Good, good. Alexi, you're fast. Yes, Sandhya, good job. Do we have the application of cow, Sandhya? Do we have the application of cow here also? No, we don't have.
Yes, yes. Now they say that definitely pick Peter. Oh, that's that's a very big compliment. Boys and girls, I would like to share this because this is a Can you hold up for a minute? Can you hold up for a minute? Yeah. Sorry for the delay. Yes. Peter says that he, he has met a great mathematician, but Peter, I am not. Samir, Samir, uh, I, I can explain the cow rule once again. If not, if not, can you just check once with the with the chain rule explanation? Chain rule, we are calling it as cow here. Chain rule, we are calling it as cow here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Shut up. Shut up. So there's people saying 40, there are people saying 20, let me say it. Okay, okay. So John is 50 years. John. Peter is 40 years. There, okay. How long was, long ago, was the ratio of their ages 3 is to 2? Okay, if I remove x years from here, I have to remove x years from here also because we have to go back. We have to go back long ago. They're talking about long ago. Agreed? They're talking about long ago. So whatever we are removing from John, the same age has to be removed from, removed from Peter also. Okay? Yes. So, now it's very simple. This is nothing but just a plotted point, plotted expression for what is given to us. So we get 100 minus 2x equals to 120 minus 3x. Oh, wonderful. So we get x equals to how much? 20? Okay. We get x equals to 20. Oh, we need, just need x value. We need x value only. Fine. Clear? Clear? Yakub, Yakub, check it. It's 20. Okay, once again. Aloxy, uh, I will explain it again. See, I'm explaining it again. They have given John, they have given Peter. Okay? And they say that, let's see, let's see. They say that John is 50, Peter is 40. Okay, beta? Now they want they want to go back long ago. Long ago. Ago is the term. They're going back. If they want to go back, I will reduce some age. Let's suppose this is X years. I'm reducing it from John. So if I reduce it from John, I have to reduce it from Peter also. It's not that Peter will be remaining same. Peter is not for 40 years for all all, all life long. We have to re remove from Peter's age also. Agreed? If I grow up, if I grow by five years, my son will also go, grow by five years. So you're getting me? I, go, I grow by 10 years. You are also going to be grow by 10 years. That's how it works. Agreed? Naomi, is that clear? 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 Yes. Yeah, fine. Then they say that this ratio was 3 is to 2. Now you multiply. You multiply. You try to solve the equation. It becomes 100, 2 into 50. So this is how the expression becomes. Okay, so finally, 2 into 50 is 100 minus 2x. Naomi, 
What's it better? 100? Where did this 100 come from? Oh, oh you get even before you finish. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. That's thank you. Thank you, Naomi. Wonderful. Good job. Good job. Okay, got it. Wonderful, Alexi. So we will solve this. This becomes x equals 20. Now, how long will they become? 4 is to 5. Robert says that how long henceforth they will become 4 is to 5. How long henceforth they will become 4 is to 5. What do you need to do? What do you need to do? Thomas, they say that they are now 50 and 40. How long it will take for them to become 4 is to 5? So, will that be possible, Robert? Robert, will that be possible? This is not possible because John's age is more than, more than Peter's age. Here you have given the John's age to be less than Peter's age. So, it's not possible. Okay, Robert, clear? Here, John is 50, Robert. Peter is 40. Okay, that means if I try to reduce their age, okay, you meant 5 by 4? They are already in the ratio of 5 is to 4. They are already in the ratio of 5 is to 4, 50 and 40. So you don't need to add. You don't need to add. The next becomes 0. Robert, the next becomes 0. Okay? Okay. When do we add? If they ask how long will they take? Will they take to attain the ratio which is uh, 5 is to 4, no? so we make it in this way. Okay. Six is to five. How long will they take to maintain a ratio of six is to five? Then I will add plus x plus x, then the ratio becomes six is to five. Robert, got it now? Hence, it is addition. If you go back, it is subtraction. Good, good. We have another one. A, B, and C. Okay, A, B, and C play a cricket match. The ratio of the runs scored by them in a match is A is to B, 2 is to 3. B and yeah, yeah, Alexi, it's right for the previous one. B is to C is 2 is to 5. If the total runs scored by all of them are 75, the runs scored by B are. So there, there are three people, A, B, C, but the comparison is done between two of them. Between two of them, 2 is to 3, and this is 2 is to 5. You all know what you have to do here. Either fill this one or this one. And how do you fill this? What is this again? Yes, yes, Robert. Yes, Sandhya, good. So three parts is two. Three, Naomi, good. Three parts is two. Two parts will be more than two or less than two? Less than two. So it's two by three into two. So it becomes four by three here. Four by three is two. Two is to five, agreed? This one we will take it up. Four by three is to two is to five. You multiply this whole with three. It comes to 12 is two. Six is two. 15. This is how the ratio will become. Okay. So 12 A, B, and C. 
are in the ratio of 12 is to 6 is to 15. Total how many parts? You have 27 plus 36. You have 33 parts. The total runs scored by all of them are 75. Is this right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's four. Thank you, Chana. Thank you. It's four is to six because this goes reduces. Yeah, it's four is to six is to 15. Fine. Then we have got 25 parts. Very good. Thank you very much for correcting me. Keep correcting me if I'm going wrong anywhere. It's an open air discussion. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Once again, I write the whole thing. So for people who have didn't get it, A is to B, two is to three is given. B is to C is two is to five. I write it exactly below B. Previously, I filled this one. This time I will fill this one. If two parts is five, then three parts will be more than five. Then your ratio becomes three by two into this, into five. So finally, this I will write as a ratio that becomes two is to three is to 15 by two. Multiplying with two, you get four is two, six is two, 15. So this is A, B and C. Yes, yes, we compare the six parts of B with the, with the total using cow rule. Wonderful, wonderful, very good, Robert. Good, Robert is too acquainted with it. Janaki, yes, good. Good, better, good. So finally we get 25 parts is nothing but 75 they have given. The run scored by B is six parts. How much? Again, again, what is this? Again, what is this? Yes, this is again cow. See, everywhere cow. Wherever you go, you, your cow follows you. So this becomes 18. Okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, very good. I, I take you to the next one. Probably we will try to end up with this, okay? If possible. Yeah, we have got how uh, I got 255. I didn't get 255. I got only 225. I got only 25. In the previous question, I got 25. If you see, oh, I'm sorry. I've got only 25 parts. This is not 255. Anywhere you want to check on this? At the end, we'll come back to this. Don't worry. We are, we are in the last question. We are in the last question. Don't worry.
Sandhya, did you track this? Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. So I don't want to waste time because I have to work on the strategies also. Surely, surely. See, rupees 160 contained in a box consisting of 1 rupee, 50 paise and 25 paise. Okay, there is 1 rupee coin. Okay, now you, you should know the conversion of paise. If you do not know the conversion of paise, they will mention you the conversion. I'm sorry for this. I should have mentioned the conversion also. There is a conversion which is required here. So 1 rupee is equals to 100 paise. Okay, one rupee is equals to hundred. Okay, that that's what is given. So if we are talking about fifty paise, they are talking half rupee. If they are talking about twenty five paise, they are talking of one fourth rupee. Okay, okay, yes. So the rupee denominations is in the ratio of one is two. 1 by 2 is to 1 by 4. Okay, the rupee denomination is in the ratio of 1 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 4. Isn't it? Because 100 paise, 50 paise, 25 paise, isn't it? They've got 50 paise, that is half rupee. They've given 25 paise coin, that is 1 fourth rupee. If this is rupee denomination, value, value, denom you know, value of the denomination, okay, value. So finally, if I multiply this, becomes 4 is 2, 2 is to 1. So in this ratio, the value is 4 is to 2 is to 1, the ratio is. The, 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 the denomination, the number of coins are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 6. Okay, I will explain this again. Denomination used is 1 rupee, 50 paise. Yes, their exchange rates. Wonderful. Their exchange rates. We can term them exchange rates. 25 paise. So I will give you conversion. 1 rupee equal to 100 paise. If they're talking about 50 paise, they're talking about how many rupees? This is one rupee, one rupee, okay? If they're talking about 50 paise, that means they're talking about half rupee. Agreed? Is this clear? Is this clear? Yes. If they're talking about 25 paise, they're talking about one fourth rupee. Agreed? Yes, yes, Nyam. This is the value they are talking about. Value of the denomination. Okay, so I am trying to re rate it. So the ratio will be what? If I multiply 4 is to 2 is to 1. This you know how did we get it? 1 is to 1 by 2 is to 1 by 4 multiplied with 4. Okay? Okay. Now, the number of coins. Okay? 1 rupee, 1 rupee coin, 50 paise coin, 25 paise coin is in the ratio of 4 is to 5 is to 6. Now imagine that, imagine that you have $1.50, cents, 25 cents coin. If I have five cent, five, if I have five 50 paise coins, if I have five 50 paise coins, then how many rupees do I have? If I have five 50 paise coins, how many rupees do we have? I, I question you all, if I have five 50 paise coins, 50 paise, 
yes 2.5 yes 50 paise 50 paise 50 paise and 50 paise so how much 2.5 agreed what did you do what did you do what did you do to get 2.5 you can say that you multiply 5 into 50, agreed? That becomes 250 paise and then divide by 100 because you know that 1 rupee is 100 paise, agreed? So you're trying to multiply it. You're trying to multiply, agreed or not? The same way I will multiply 4 is to 2 is to 1 with 4 is to 5 is to 6. Sorry, 16 is to 10 is to 6 is total 160. Okay. You're getting me, everyone? Yes, did I, did I go anywhere wrong? 4 into 4 is 16, 2 into 5 is 10, 1 into 6 is 6. All the ratios are clear? Yes, the ratio is done. Now they say how many paths do we have? 26 plus 6 is how much? 32 paths. Okay, I need some space here. I will do. No, I don't need to because we are converting everything in rupee. We converted Noor. We have converted this into rupee, the paise into rupee. See, we have converted paise into rupee. Okay, yes. Now, 32 parts is equal to 160. 32 parts is equal to 160. They are saying, um, what is the number of 25 paise coins? Don't worry. Here, 25 is nothing but six parts. So, six parts is how much? 32 parts is 160, six parts will be less than 160, we get how much? 30, 30. So 30 rupees is of 25 paise. That means how many coins are there? How many 25 paise coins are there? You need to multiply it with four because 30 rupees, if I want to convert in 25 paise coins, one rupee equals to <coughs> extremely sorry, extremely sorry. One rupee equals to four twenty-five paise coins. So thirty rupees equals to twenty-four. One twenty rupees, one twenty twenty-five paise coins. Need to check it again. This is a tough one for you guys. I understand. I placed a tougher one. Don't worry, don't worry. You just follow the the explanation here. You will get it. Okay, if you convert this, how many rupee coin? See, one rupee, 25 paise means one coin, isn't it? One coin is 25 paise. So you need how much? Like 30 rupees you need to know. One fourth rupees is one, one, one fourth rupees is one. Okay, if you want to make it 30 here, how much you need to do? Again, cow comes over here. One fourth rupee is one. 30 rupees means how much? We will get the cow there again. Clear? The last one is a little tougher one, I understand. Clear everyone? Okay. By this, we call it up. We call it up. You can take a screenshot of this. And if you have any doubts to ask, no doubt. If you have any doubts to ask, you can ask me. If we have Vimal uh, to unmute you, and then we will take the explanation. So I think you can unmute them. No, you're the host. Okay, okay. So, uh, Vimal, I will give that option to you. Um, okay, so okay, okay, so allocate. 
So yeah, but wait, wait a minute. Yeah. I will, I will give them the chance. So we have a, a Lapsi. Uh, that's Oma, I guess. Uh, Oma, you you wanted to speak something, I guess. Okay. Yeah, Oma, now you can unmute. Yes, sir. So I, I can hear you. Yes, yes, I can I, hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, I wanted to ask uh, one question. Can you hear me, sir? There's a disturbance, Alaksi. There's a disturbance. Hello? Yeah, we have got some disturbance at your place. Yeah, now you can try. Okay, sir. My question is that uh, when you were explaining the previous question, hello? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. When I explained the previous question, uh, the, I didn't uh, understand some uh, logics that you use while explaining the question. Uh, I don't know. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I can see it now. Uh, these are uh, half rupee, these are uh, one fourth rupee. Uh, I didn't, I actually didn't understand. Okay, so this is basically given in Indian currencies. Okay, the question okay. is given in Indian currency. So we yes. know we, they will also give you, they will also give you the conversion of the currency. Like if you go to states, if you go to United States, the Pamek. Uh, they, you have dollars and cents, agree? So before yes, you go and step into that state, you, you will be given a conversion and the conversion is not given in the pretend, but I have mentioned it over here. See, there is a conversion which is given over here. Can you see that? One rupee makes 100 paisa. Uh, now with the help of that, with the help of that, I have dragged out all this answer explanation. Got it? Yeah. Got it now? Yes, sir, I've gotten it. Thank you. Sir. You can take a screenshot of it. You walk, walk again. Okay. Oh, uh, Sami says in Nepal also one rupee equals to hundred paisa. Very good. Yes, Shana, you can definitely ask me anything if you want regarding the recurrent decimals. Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, wait a minute, I will give you the... Yeah, uh, Nami, we will give you this time the chance. You, you can un unmute yourself, Nami. Go ahead. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Nami. Very, very good evening. Yes, please. Yes, sir. I uh, I think I'm I'm saying it now. I wanted to ask concerning the parts, how the parts were coming about, how we add the parts. For example, if it's uh, fifty thousand with the person having forty thousand, like how are you adding the parts? But I think I've gotten the thing. You're not adding the the whole amount, but we're getting the first uh, numbers from. Yeah, it's okay now, sir. Thank you. Uh, you added. You got it. You got the explanation. Yes, I, I just uh, wanted to know about the numbers because there was that other question of uh, you talked of the what is the ages. One was fifty, the other was forty, and how you you came up with the with the parts? You just had to add from the first, not adding the zeros like fifty and forty. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you you, you want to say something? Why did we eliminate the zeros? No, I'm, I'm saying I'm certain now, like I, I did I did the screenshot just now and I was- just Okay, okay. you take it the screenshot. Very good, very good. Yeah. Good job, good job. Okay, okay. So, yes, we have got another person. Chana, yes, I you didn't understand why we were subtracting two from the numbers. How do you come up the amount to subtract and why we are subtracting two? In which question, Chana, we're talking about I don't know which question you are talking about, if you can come up with that. We will give chance this time to Paul, 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 yes, please. Paul, you can unmute yourself. Paul. Yes, how are you? Yeah, yeah, better. You know, I sent for you a number 13, but you did not answer me well. 
Which, which one? Number 13, I did not understood it well. Which, which topic? The numbers topic? Yeah, in this topic, number 13. Uh, only this topic? Question, well, question 13, say, yeah. Question yeah, 13. I, 13, question number 13, okay. Can you just yeah. read out the question for me once? Okay, you can you can bring it again because I'm not seeing it now. Okay, you bring it okay, on the fine. screen. No worries, no worries. In the next topic, we'll come up. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, 